Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be feeding pretty much all of my reptiles, all thanks to Grub Terra. Uh, they were gracious enough to send me some free feeders, some of their uh, black soldier fly larvae, and so we'll do a little bit review on how they look, what's really going on, and then we'll just be feeding a bunch of different dudes. Before we get into it, I, I do gotta apologize to them. I'm a little late making this video. Um, I've got like a bunch of stuff, especially with moving stuff out of the reptile building. Um, there's a bunch of stuff going on here, and of course the issue with being a reptile YouTuber is the fact that it's all content, so I need to film it, which makes my life, or makes the really any task 10 times longer. So like the ball python racks have to be cleaned and checked out, but that's a great time to do like a full ball python tour. I need to move some tokes into bigger enclosures and swap guys out and move everyone around. That's great. Great content right there. Who doesn't like watching me get bit? You think I'm gonna get bit, bit by a toke and not monetarily gain after? I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> Then of course there's some videos that I feel like need to take precedent over others. Uh, the US ARC one was a great example with everything that's been going on right now and really US ARC getting into a lot of, um, uh, catching a lot of eyes, getting gaining a lot of traction. I wanted to keep that momentum going with a video of my own to, you know, keep it going. Hopefully US ARC has in some donations, maybe thanks to me, maybe not thanks to me, I don't know. Um, of course there's that q and I gotta get done. You guys sent me a bunch of awesome questions. I'm really excited to do that. Um, uh, pretty much just a bunch of reptile YouTuber stuff. You guys aren't here to see that, you know, we're here to feed reptiles and not hear about my first world problems. So anyway, with all that being said, I guess it's time to sit back, relax, dive into some feeding of all my reptiles, and roll the intro. So first things first, let's dive into a little review before we feed them. Um, so these guys come, I believe it's probably 500 and 500. I got two of these um, large cups. Um, honestly, I'm very impressed with the uh, survival rate. Of course, it's been very cold. It, well, it's actually been very cold everywhere, but it's always cold here in New England. And I really had like virtually zero death rate, even though it wasn't held at any FedEx hub or post office, it was shipped directly to me. And the fact that my mailman Put it on my door trunk instead of the front porch so i didn't even realize it was here until probably an hour later they're still good um virtually again zero deaths um they all look wicked healthy um usually with some of the other areas you go to for phoenix worms or black soldier fly larvae you'll notice that they kind of look crappy a bunch of them have already cocooned a bunch of them are like brown dead crispy but all these are nice they're great like plump white so they're obviously being fed very well and they look great, that's all I gotta say. That was a big selling point with me. I'm having some troubles with my current guy, Rainbow Mealworms. Um, they keep sending me stuff that's dead and it's just not fun. So for this to come and literally nothing bad happen, it's a breath of fresh air because my God, I'm done dealing with dead feeders. Um, so yeah, I've shipped in a timely manner, arrived nice and good, nice and safe, great looking feeders. It's all good stuff, but we still have one more question to be answered. And that's the fact is, will the reptiles like them? Cause that's the big thing. You know, I don't care how well they're packaged and sent. It's all about the reptiles. If they don't like them, what's the point? So we're gonna be doing a little test tasting with these black soldier fly larvae. We'll be going pretty much almost every enclosure. Whatever will hand feed off of me is what I'll include in this video. So let's get down to it and so let's feed some this dudes. video, of course, we are going to be doing Toad the Bearded Dragon. Of course, Toad is in this beautiful Zen Habitats. Yes, Zen Habitats. Amazing enclosures. Just look at this thing. Incredible. You should get yours today. Link in description. Yeah, that's right. You thought there was only going to be one brand deal in this video? Nope. I am cramming two inside of this thing. <laughs> All right, don't mind the uh, macaw also screaming in the background. So, oh, oh. let's get a little, oh, oh, oh. Where, where'd it go? God damn it. Okay, let's see what we got here. He seems super interested in it. Come on, bud. Come on. Just, just eat it. Just, there we go. Yum. Give him a couple, a couple of them. Put the rest in the bowl. Cha, 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 cha. I'm too lazy to do sound effects, so I do it myself. All right, we're doubling up. Can he do it? Well, I dropped one. There we go. Look at that little guy. Very satisfied customer. Next up on the list, we got the blue tongue skink. Let's see if he enjoys these delicious little grubs. If I can get one. Okay. 
Come on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Mmm. Nope. Nope. Right here. It's, it's over here. Nope. <laughs> Yum. Those are my fingers! What are you thinking? Dang it, Flapjack. Okay, well. It's below you. But... Bull oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so as far as satisfied customers, we know Blue Tongue Skinks and Breeder Dragons are really enjoying this stuff. Now let's move on to some a little more obscure stuff, including some monitor lizards. Male right here, let's see if he'll... Oh, oh, he spooked! He spooked! Come on, bud. Come on, bud. We need content. We need content. Okay, okay. Well, not a satisfied customer. We can get these guys to tongue feed. Looks like we got one interested guy over here. The problem is with this stuff is the camera really spooks them. So what the, when they're normally like chill, I've got this giant camera looking at them. So they're kind of like, what is that? We do not want this yet. Yeah, fortunately, it's not going to work with some of these guys. The Mr. Tree Frog, he's sleeping. Let's see if we can uh, wake him up with a little worm. Oh, buddy. Ah! oh my god <laughs> this guy for probably like a year now or so and i've never heard him make that noise so um that was uh that was something let's see if Yeah, yeah, great video, Dakota. It looks like literally all your reptiles just hate your guts. I'm real glad we're watching this. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's just roll a montage or something because I'm really, this is just discouraging <laughs> at this point. Okay, this should be an easy one. Leopard Gecko. I mean, we can't. The Leopard Gecko can't be angry with me like everything else. Yeah, come on, buddy. Please, I need content. I desperately need content. <laughs> yeah, go give, give him a little chomp. What is my life? <laughs> See, if I don't do it with the camera, they eat for me. It's not like my reptiles hate me. They just don't like the camera in their face. I swear to God, <laughs> they'll eat right from me with the tongs. But as soon as you put a big Kimball, Kimball, a big gimbal and a camera in their face, they're like, mm-mm, don't want to do it. Why? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, look at that face. You're the saving grace, buddy. You, uh, you saved this video from being just reptiles yelling at me.
Now that's a satisfied customer, still wanting more, as always. Cute gecko. Maybe I should get more leopard geckos. I don't know. And all right, before we film a couple more reptiles that just really don't like me and don't like the camera and it's just gonna be a huge failure, uh, I do have one ace in the hole. One reptile that I know for a fact will eat anything I put in its enclosure. Unfortunately, these are too small to feed it with the tongs. It's just gonna try to grab the entire tongue. Uh, so we're just gonna put it on a little plate and we'll show you. I'll show you. My reptiles don't hate me. I swear to God, it's the camera. It, it's all the camera. All right, so we got them on a nice little plate. We'll open this bad boy. And she shit on the basking spot. I swear to God. All right, so, oh my God, it smells so bad. Why do they poop on the basking zone? All right, sweetie, you're my ace in the hole. Don't let me down. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh. Yeah, she wants, she wants some food, all right. Oh, oh, she's just on the plate. Oh, well. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. She's got him, she's got it figured out. And she's putting him on the, on the other plate. Jesus Christ, man. All right, so one thing we know for, it looks like when I, when I move real, oh my God. <laughs> looks like when I move real quick, I accidentally got a bunch on that plate. So obviously from here, we definitely have a satisfied customer. I mean, Jesus Christ, she is having a field day with these things. Yum. Yeah, here we go. This is the content that we need. No more, no more of this animals yelling at me. This is what we need. Thank you. She don't even care about the camera or anything. She's just food. It's all about the food. Welcome to owning an Argus monitor. Poop on the basking site and then try to eat you. That's uh, that's Argus monitor 101 for you. Remember in like the Tokay tent, I would get like wicked sweaty and um, just all around gross. So um, this entire room now is the Tokay tent. I heat this room to in the, around the 80s, pretty much low 80s, 82, 85, sometimes depending on what the weather is outside. Um, so yeah, now instead of like in a tent where I'm sweating my butt off, I'm now I'm um, sweating inside an entire room. <laughs> right now, I remember I hand fed this male like, oh my God, he was on the wood top. I hand fed this male once and he ate off of me. So um, let's see if we can do it again. First, I need to get him off the lid because I need to open the lid. This is a predicament. You guys might be asking yourself and really, I just don't have an answer for you, but somehow, I always make things worse. Now he's just closer to me. <laughs> Cute gecko. Oh my God, he just did it with me without the camera. So let's see if I can do it again with the camera. Watch, it's not gonna work. Oh my God, it's gonna work. Oh, I'm incredible. Oh my God, I did it. I am he and feet. Oh, he dropped. Oh, I dropped. Okay, well, he did it. He, he tried. That's, I think that's the important part. Okay, one more shot, one more shot. Let's see if we can, uh, oh, oh. Let's see if we can get him back. God damn it, I swear to God. <laughs> well, boys and girls, I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. That is the fact that my reptiles hate me and I really should just stay away from feeding videos because they just don't work out the way I want them to. <laughs> damn, now I'm gonna have to make some sort of like redemption video of like feeding my animals, but they actually like aren't scared shitless. I'll have to train them to, um, you know, not be afraid of the camera. But I did the video, I did it. Was it a good video? I mean, that wasn't on the, that wasn't on the table. It was the fact that I needed to make the video, not make the video where they eat it. All right, boys and girls, and that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, we got our outdoor stuff going on. I already mentioned it, so I'm not gonna do a full one. Of course, Zen Habitats. We saw the enclosure a little bit earlier with Toad. If you wanna check that out, it's right down there in the description where I got all my other good stuff. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok if you aren't already. I'm like a hundred and something followers away from 10K I can monetize off of it, so that would be really cool. You don't really make anything. It's like a couple of pennies, but that's a couple of pennies more than I'm making now. 
now, so please, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> yes, that's all the stuff I did. I kind of did it out of order, so I'm a, I'm a little bit confused on this outro. It's not it's not syncing up like it use, usually does. Uh, we got that Q&A video tomorrow. I'm going to be filming it right after I film this, so this will come out today, and then tomorrow we'll be doing the Q&A video. Uh, again, thank you guys for coming. I am so sorry that this uh, did not video go video go well. I think I should have sent the video. Let's roll, roll the credits. Let's roll them.